and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger and your forecaster for today, Monday, July 22nd, 2013. Um, wow, just been an interesting couple of weeks energetically. I like the fact that today is the number 22. It's a master number double twos um, it's a four which is stable and solid the day is also if you add up 7 22 20, 20 13 it's going to be number 17 which is star card rebirth rebuilding after the storm the change the shift the move um, also eight which is strength card so we can keep boiling it down and again that's just a a kind of a mixture and recipe for the day for the energy of the day and I want to talk, last night we had an amazing show on Blog Talk Radio, our Cosmic, co cosmic Caffeine. <laughs> yes, that's what it was. Our Cosmic Caffeine show. And uh, a real clear and simple message came through last night, and I wanted to kind of echo that today. Um, and it was it was about a woman who um, everyone, the doctors, everybody told her to... Um, uh, abort a, a child that she was having because um, of an issue going on she did not she had they said the child would not live long but she had 18 months if I'm getting all my numbers correct with this child and the message um, that came through after Jamie and Evan and, and Helen all we all worked there but the message was and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it as simple as it was last night and elaborate it but it was accept and be grateful for what was or is and rather than worrying about what wasn't. Um, so in other words, she had 18 months and, and rather than nothing at all, or 18 months rather than um, an entire lifetime without. So it was a really beautiful and simple message. And I want to elaborate and say, you know, be grateful and thankful and accept and allow what is, is in your life, what was in your life, you know, and rather than, um, focusing on what wasn't, what isn't, what you hope for and hasn't happened yet. Um, and that's really just, you know, that's kind of having a positive outlook on anything that you go through and work through. Um, and it's also coming back down to looking at it through the eyes and lens of love rather than fear of and lack. So real simple and fun message. Um, I'm being strongly... I'm told to talk about you know animals as well. Um, a lot, I get a lot of animal communication work. Um, my blog talk radio show on Wednesday nights. We have lots of animals and I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> I'm channeling Molly Shannon there. But uh, uh, someone asked them, you know, their cat always comes to them when the radio show is on or when they're meditating. Cats are very, very sensitive. Um, you know, dogs are such great teachers as well and such great companions. The whole best friend, man's best friend is there and said for a reason. But something I wanted to share with you, and this is not my new thought, but it's something I highly agree with and feel so much. The animals in our lives, and, and even just as the bird passes by us or the butterfly floats by, those as well, they all have um, you know, purpose for us. They are often reflections for us to see. I keep, I've had experiences where I had something cut off my ear, you know, a skin cancer thing. And at the same time, my dog, had, we, had, we realized we cut something off of her. It was growing and the doctors wanted to get rid of it. You know, so they, even the little things like that, so look to your animals to reflect what's going on inside you. If they're having bowel, distress, and trouble, you know, check with yourself. Are you overstressed? Are you having trouble? Is everything, you know, stabilized in there? So let them reflect, you know, acknowledge it because they're working hard to show you and sometimes we ignore it and, and you know, they're just going to keep doing it because, and the ultimate purpose for me talking about this is, I believe that before we came into this incarnation, we set up agreements with the animals that are going to be in our lives as well. Soul contracts with them. They're here for a shorter period of time than most humans. Um, you know, 8 to 20 years, uh, some longer. But um, we've set up those agreements and contracts, and you want to honor them. Uh, they're here to show us some of our life lessons. So, so make sure you pay attention to that, to honor the work that they're doing in and for your life. Uh, they're just amazing and wonderful. The, the five that are in my house, two dogs and three cats, um, teach me something every day. 
Uh, they allow me to slow down. When the cat wants to get on the computer and have me scratch him, I often will go, get away, get away. And I'm like, you know, let me just take a moment. Let me just take a moment and stroke this cat's fur and it brings me into a peaceful state of being. And sometimes they're there just showing me how frustrated I am. So enjoy and love your animals. And, uh, you know, be grateful for what is rather than what isn't. So let me dive right in. Uh, I've already shuffled it many, many times. I'm just cutting a few last times. Card for today. Can you even feel my more calm energy? Just about an hour ago, I said, it's going to be a good day. I can just feel it. We're, we're, today is the last day of Cancer. If I'm looking at the, the calendar right, because the 23rd, we go into Leo, according to the book I have. Um, it feels very good. You know, Leo, very masculine fixed energy. It's very fiery. Um, we just moved out of Cancer, which is often a very emotional, um, uh, you know, sign. And, you know, it's water, uh, it's feminine. Um, it gives me the feeling of kind of retreating into our shell, that crab kind of a thing. So, so I feel like we're about to bust out and have some good times. So with that being said, let me boom, pull this card. Ta -da, Knight of Cups. So Knight of Cups, cups are water. Um, the knights are often fast-moving, impetuous young folk or young at heart. This card is definitely very emotional. And I'm feeling like this is, uh, it's like we're galloping to the end of this, where we've been with cancer and, and the Mercury retrograde. It's full moon today, tonight. Um, so it's just all emotions and water and moving and shifting so we are about to move into that fireplace fiery place of, of leo and the warmth this summertime um with this card i'm gonna be honest with you i am not getting a clear clear message today i'm i keep asking as i'm talking it's called vamping in the theater i'm vamping right now as i'm asking questions up above and they're not giving me anything clear they're telling me to talk about what i always talk about with this um the mask here, the helmet, is faceless and bodyless, so it's not about the person today. Here comes the message. It's not about the person. It's about the emotion, the energy, the directive, the order that's there and around you. It's almost like all the people are removed today, and it's just about the energy floating in and around this time period. Move and navigate very carefully. Adjust um, water references here. Adjust your sails. Have all hands on deck, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Um, be mindful of where you're directing your ship throughout the day. So be very, very cautious from an emotional standpoint. Be careful from an emotional standpoint. Um, enjoy the day. I feel very. Normally I'm a little more jazzed, but I like this peaceful feeling I have right now because. Um, uh, you know, the pendulum was swinging so far the other way the last couple of weeks that I'm okay with it being right here in the middle. I prefer, I prefer good solid peace. I don't need my pendulum to swing too far one way or the other. Um, I'm good right here in the middle. It's swung many, many times that way for all my life. So thank you for tuning in. Last night was amazing. This Thursday night is my, um, uh, the Intuitive Messenger show on Blog Talk Radio, not Wednesday. Thursday night. We're only doing this one time. I'm setting that intention. Um, couldn't get out of something with my uh, corporate day, day job. So, and it was set in place before the show came on into existence. So Thursday night, 830. Um, check out some of the free videos on this channel about how to do different spreads. Um, I do have a, a paid video on my website, intuitivemessenger.org, about getting started um, using developing your intuition using the Terra. Um, it was a fun classroom that I posted um, that you guys can pay. It's only 20 bucks. And um, the video, you get to see me and there's people in the chat room. You don't see them or hear them, but I repeat their questions and it's a good learning um, uh, video. So I think that's about it. I will say to you, namaste. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Enjoy the energy as we're shifting and changing right now. Talk to you tomorrow.